Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Christmas card and it's a light up, it's kind of a light up shadow box. It's using my tower dies along with the little pooches there. But I just wanted to show you it with the lights on and now you can see it with my lights on and all the colour and the shine from the mirrored card there. This will fold flat and it will fit into one of my box envelopes. You can see the depth or the bulkiness you've got there on the back is space to write your message and then I've just concealed the little battery pack there and see this pops out the little dog inside and it will stand up really nicely really special card thoroughly enjoyed making this one so let me show you how to make it so this is the six by six tower die set one of my all-time favorites just love using this one so you need to die cut two of those so it's the largest die here Okay, you see it's got all the score and cut lines for you and you want to cut that twice. So I have this one here that I've already folded into shape and then I'm going to do that one with you in a moment. And then you'll also see here you get all your mats and layers. So if I just pop that one there, if I take this out. So that's the main obviously die and then in here you have your mat and layer. So for the front, I've used the largest one in the silver card and then the smaller one in the pattern paper. And that's the same for these ones. This is your larger layer. You'll see, I've, again, I've cut it in the silver. And then I've used the smaller one there to layer on top. Okay, so that's everything that you would need to cut there. So this one is going to go inside. This one's going to go on the back. So I've done two. I'm going to stamp my little Christmas sentiment. And then there's the two for the side. You also have this die here, which will cut all of the little sections and have little, you can have pattern paper there. I've just got the mirrored card, so I've just cut enough there that I would need. I think it's 21 in total. Okay, so I've got all of that ready. The pattern paper I've used is from my Everyday Pop-Ups paper pad, and I've used the fish and the bone with the little hearts and the paw. And you can see it closer there so that's from that pad we got some really nice ones i love this one here as well and the one with the black background that one really pops okay so first of all i want to cut the aperture out of the front one so i'm using the smaller of the two rectangles here and i'm just going to lay this one down in the middle on one of the pieces you want to do this before you put it all together otherwise it's just going to flatten again in the die machine so I'm just going to sit this so it's nice and centred. Just tack that in place and run that through my die machine. OK, so that's cut out. Next, I've got this piece of acetate. You want to cut it so it's three and three quarters by it's just over five and three quarters. It's just in between five and three quarters and six. You're going to stick this behind your aperture so if you've cut the same size aperture using that die then this is the estate but to be honest i don't think you're going to cut an aperture any bigger than what i've got here if anything yours might be smaller if you want to do a smaller one you might want to have two circles but the acetate size is just right it fits within that section so i'm going to run some red tape just thin around there and get that stuck down And just make sure you burnish that well so it's completely stuck down. That's just the three mil red tape. That's the smallest I think you can get in terms of width. Um, it's brilliant for when you've got smaller areas that you need to stick something to. Okay, so a little trick when you put this together is grab yourself a ruler. You're going to go under and then over because all of these here have cut all these um, cut lines here. So you're going to go, like I said, under, over, under, over, all the way up to the top. Once you've got the ruler in, just turn it and it will line up or you want it to line up with the score lines. There are faint score lines. You can just see them there, just down here and then on every other piece there. So just pop it in the middle and just fold it over the top and then flip it around and you can see them there already. It's right in the middle where you're marking that like so. And then I just kind of bring it up to the edge there, push it up and then to that edge, you push it down 
and you can see almost instantly you get that shape and then what I would suggest is just bring it over completely and then just burnish the ends of all of those pieces so again under over all the way up to the end and then just turn your ruler and just sit it so it's just right in the middle of that score line and again like so and then you can just bend down that one and bend up that one and then again fold it in just burnish all these sides okay so you want to do that on both pieces you might also want to put some vellum in here and maybe you might want to cut the sides out of both and have more of a just a light box you know a nice decorative piece you can definitely do that but now those are going to stick together like so okay so before we do that i want to stick this one inside this one here this is going to be the back this is the front so that's the detail that you'll see there and then these will go on the front okay so that's all stuck down there now when you stick this together you want to make sure that they're all joined inside here because if i turn that that way up you see they don't stick together this one's not got anything to stick to so although it looks okay and you might want to do it that way but you'll see you almost get a solid piece all the way down through there whereas if you have them both mirrored see they join up there but you can see right through you just really get to appreciate all that design now before I stick that together I've got another strip of acetate here because I want to have one of the little puppies suspended inside so I'm going to stick this on the third one up now I've got too much there I don't need that much it will depend what you're kind of sticking on here and whether or not you want to do this but this is three inches two or three quarters something around that will be fine I'm just going to pop some tape on the end and then I'm just sticking it in there you could go right across here if you want because it's all going to get covered just again make sure that's completely secure but now this puppy so I'll go on to these here so I've stamped and colored all of these pieces here from two of my stamp sets so I've used the perky pooches this is the main stamp set here so I've just stamped a couple there along with the dog bowl and I've got the little bone there the bone is plain but I just then drew a load of little dots or circles and then just coloured them in and then I've also got I might not use that one but I've just got it there I've also coloured that in you've got the little rope toy there another bowl so they've got one each and then all of these Christmas elements are from the Christmas photo booth they fit the pooches perfectly so you can see I've used the elf hat and Santa's hat which is just at the top there on the two and then I've got the little gingerbread man I've got the presents there which I've cut and coloured the ho 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 which is going to be on the front of the card and then I've got the naughty and nice arrows I'm going to have him on the inside so he's going to be about there remember when it closes you don't want it to because it will move in so although it's going to be on this side because he's then going to be here when you move it across you want to make sure he's not going to so stick it down when it's kind of in this right angle got all this static on me there we go this is like a right angle that's when you want to stick it in place so again i'm just going to pop just a little bit of tape you'll see now again if i bring that over that's how it's going to be so you can see he's suspended inside okay then i don't want you need to kind of play around with where you're going to place everything because I want to stick some bits inside so that he's going to be there the ho 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 is going to be up there and then i don't want all of these presents on the front so let's just do maybe something like that on the front then these two can go right on the back inside the card i'll move it away in a second along with you can have the red bowl there and then like some of the treats 
and then I was going to have him saying that he's nice inside but he's saying he's naughty maybe I'll do actually though no, I'll do that I'll stick that one there and that one there and then I've got the little gingerbread man so I think I'm going to pop that inside there and candy canes I can pop all them in but just kind of lay out everything first so I'll just move that away because that just sits there nicely but I can just stick down these pieces on the back and then I'm going to just add a little bit of tape just on top of that plastic piece and then I'm going to add glue all over here and then on each of these bits and the same on that side there as well. And then you just want to go in and just squeeze all the sides there to make sure that's all secure and then you can fold everything in and really push that down like so. Now we've got a really fun card. I've got other styles that do this as well, the floating shadow box cards. I'll link that tutorial up. I'll also link more of these, um, you know, tutorials that I've got using these dies, the tower dies, because they're just so versatile. You can do heaps with them. Okay, next I'm going to use some foam pads and stick all this down just as I showed you. And I'm also going to stick these down on here. Now, the easiest way that I find to do it is just to add a little swirl of glue. Like so and then just lay each one down and it's just so much quicker you've got a little bit of wiggle time there but rather than just doing one at a time you could put the glue on the back of these if you want but I just think this is so much faster and I'm going to do that on the sides here here and then here you can also do inside as well but I'm just going to leave it with just these ones for now so I'm going to get all of that stuck down everything stuck down all on the back there as well now these are the lights that I've got these are the same ones that I used last year I'll link them below now you can trim these as well because this is too long I don't need all of this but what I want to do first of all is I want to just kind of a bit of random plastic there let's just get rid of that I want to be able to hide this slightly and you don't need this piece on show either so I'm just going to kind of hide that all in there and I want the switch to be it's got a mind of its own let me just pin that over there there we go so I'm just going to have this so that it's the switch is right on the edge there and then I'm gonna bring it in a bit and bring the card around here and I'm just gonna kind of see where I want there Okay, so I'm just going to trim this. The lights might be different depending on what you've got. So if I just show you what I do, then you can just adapt it to the size of yours. So I'm just trimming that down and then I'm going to add some red tape along there. Peel that off now so it's easy for me to wrap this around. I'm going to wrap it and then stick it onto there and then I can go around again 
and I can trim away this piece and the join will be hidden underneath so pop some more tape along that bit and then bring that around so now I've just hidden that and it looks so much neater and this is going to attach onto probably the middle there at the bottom it's a it's a light up box people are going to expect there to be some kind of battery or something so i'm not too worried it's all on the back there's still room to write my message but now i'm going to like i said i, I really don't need all of this so i reckon i'm going to take um I'm going to go up to the blue there so I'm going to get rid of that one so you do lose it but they're, they're really long and you get quite a lot in the pack before I stick that down I want to make sure that I've got all this fed through so I'm just going to just bring it through like so And then I'm just going to, because you can bend this, I'm just going to kind of scrunch it up like so. I'm only going to tack it down in a couple of places. I want the rest of it to be quite free. So where there's any bits sticking out, so I'm just going to, because this will still all fit in the box envelope, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right down the bottom here and that holds it all in there you can see i'm going to turn my lights off in a minute as well so you can see it, it light up better but i'm just gonna tack that down okay so what i did is i've, I've put some hot glue behind some of the wire there so that holds it in place i've popped his food bowl with some hot glue behind there and then the hot glue gun hadn't got too hot it was the glue was coming out but it wasn't boiling and then i've just used it to attach this but if you'd rather not put hot glue near the battery then i'd just use some double-sided tape but you can see now it looks nice and neat it will all fold still pretty flat and that will definitely go into one of my box envelopes but i'm now just going to turn on turn off the lights even let's just pop that up there okay i've still got one of the lights on at the other end of the room but you can get a really good idea of how that's going to look i think it's going to look really nice next to the tree in someone's house on their mantle side table with all the other christmas decorations and lights it's really really fun so i'm just going to pop my lights back on so i hope you like this light up box card idea from me today as always i'll link as much as i can in the description box below i'll also have some tutorials coming up now of other light boxes that i've done or light up cards so you might want to watch them next and as always if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button and then click the bell next to it that will go red and that means then you'll get notified every time i upload a new video thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye